Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about compound conditional statements in Java through the example of a choose your own adventure game. So just a quick little recap, in the last video I coded out an example where there's four doors and um, I need to pick the second door in order to win the game and every other door is a losing door and I have the code in front of me right here. So this is almost done. There's just one thing that I need to fix about it and that is the way this code runs is it first checks that the door I picked is a winning door. Then it's going to check that the door I picked is a positive door and if it's not a positive door or a winning door it means I didn't pick a valid door. This works fine and all. However, there's one scenario which doesn't it can kind of slip through the cracks of my code, and that's if I pick a positive door, but it's not a positive door in the range of valid doors. So if I pick door 45 and I run that, it tells me I lose, even though what should be printed is you did not pick a valid door. So I need to fix that and it's very simple to fix. I am just going to edit this else if statement so that it checks that my door is greater than zero but it's less than or equal to four because that is the highest door possible to pick. So I'm gonna write this and and my door is less than or equal to four. So what are these ampersand signs representing? They, if, if I were to read this conditional statement in plain English, it would read, if my door is greater than zero and my door is less than or equal to four, print out you lose. So this basically is connecting two conditional statements into one. And the only way for this entire conditional statement to be met is if both conditions are true i.e. the door is greater than zero and the door is less than four. So if the door I picked is 45, it is greater than zero, but it's not less than four. So this entire conditional statement is not met and it's gonna skip over to the else statement. So that's what and looks like. And if I print this code or run this code, it should do what I want it to do. I did not pick a valid door, perfect. So now my choose your own adventure game is complete, but before I end the video, I still want to go over um, different types of conditional statements. Okay, so let's go over some more conditional statements that are gonna be really useful in your future programs. Um, let's start with the one we just went over. So in plain English, it's called and, and it looks just like that. And in coding, it's going to look like two ampersand symbols, just like that. So what and means is if I have two conditional statements, both of them need to be true for my entire conditional statement to be true. So if I have true and true, that is going to be equal true. However, if I have false and true, that is going to be equal to false. And of course, if both of them are false, it's also going to be equal to false. The second um, conditional compound conditional operator I can use, in plain English, we say or, and in coding language, we use two vertical lines to represent it. So with an or, if I have two conditional statements, only one of them needs to be true for my entire statement to be true. So basically in English, if I have true or false, that is going to be equal to true. If I have true and or true, it's also going to be true. But if I have false or false, neither of them are true, so it's going to equal false. And the final uh, operator that's going to be very useful, in plain English, we say not, and it's denoted by an exclamation point. 
So you can think of not as reversing a symbol. If I have not false, that is going to equal true. If I have not true, that is going to equal false. If that's kind of confusing, you can think about it like uh, if I have a statement and the statement is I have a balloon, if I add a not in front of it, it becomes I do not have a balloon. So it switches the meaning of it. If I have a balloon and I add a not in front of it, it becomes I do not have a balloon. So balloon is equal to false. If I do not have a balloon, then I do not not have a balloon, double negative, it becomes I do have a balloon. So that was a very quick introduction to compound conditional statements. If you found this fun, believe it or not, there's a whole domain on this. You can go ahead and check out Discrete Math. Um, I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching and happy coding.